subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss on how you can prepare for AWS Certified Security Specialty. The AWS Certified Security Specialty Certification allows experienced cloud security professionals to demonstrate, and validate their knowledge about how to secure the AWS platform. So let's get started. Here you can see the list of topics we are going to cover in this video. We will start with the basic information required to begin your preparation, and then move on to the study materials and important topics which will help you in your preparation. Benefits First, better job opportunities and salary. AWS certified engineers are in high demand and can earn top paying salaries. AWS consultancy partners need to have a certain amount of AWS certifications, in order to retain their AWS consultancy status and move to the next consulting tier, so they are big recruiters of AWS certified engineers. Second, professional growth. You want to deepen your AWS knowledge, enhance your skills, and progress your career. Third, professionalize your team. Become the AWS go-to expert in your organization, upskill your team, and motivate other colleagues to get certified. Course outline. 1. Identity and access control. 2. Application and infrastructure security. 3. Data security. 4. Network security. 5. Logging and monitoring. 6. Threat detection, prevention, response, and remediation. 7. Risk and Compliance Management and Tips to Study for the Exam 1. Be Paranoid As a security engineer you are expected to consider the worst case scenario for any possible threat, therefore you should always choose responses with a solution, that delivers the best level of security, or those that you think cover the majority of threats. 2. Know your AWS Identity and Access Management Policies AWS IAM is the first service that you should configure in any AWS account and it's widely used to give access control to AWS resources. That is why it is an extremely important service to know if you work in security. Understanding the policy evaluation logic, and all IAM policy elements is a must. 3. Embrace encryption. Remember, encryption improves data security. If you are following the first tip, you should know that sensitive data has to be encrypted. This means you won't see questions where you have to decide whether, or not to encrypt data in an Amazon S3 bucket. Instead you will be asked about what's the best location to encrypt the data, or the best key management solution to fulfill given requirements. 4. Security Groups versus Network Access Control Lists Network security is also critical in cloud environments, and there are several tools to avoid issues. Two of the most important tools are security groups and NACLs. Knowing the differences, use cases, and features of both will help increase your exam points. 5. Be ready to respond to incidents. Security engineers are not only in charge of deploying, and configuring the security tools to avoid intruders penetrating the systems, they also have to be ready to rapidly detect and respond to incidents, enabling detective capacities, and ensuring access to the necessary services. 6. That AWS service does what? There are several AWS security services available, each one focused on a specific use case, which gives you choice when raising your security posture. Even though you are not required to be an expert in every single one of them, you should know them all, their main features, their use cases, and their customer benefits. 7. Don't forget about the logs. One simple way to detect incidents, and to perform a forensic analysis of incidents is by reviewing the logs, generated by infrastructure and applications. However, processing a large amount of log files could be an exhausting task. That's why you should know the tools that facilitate logs capture and processing, and the recommended practices to centralize and secure your logs to avoid attackers who may manipulate or delete them. 8. Get your hands dirty. Definitely the best way to learn something is by doing it. You could read all available guides from top to bottom, and that couldn't be enough for you to pass the exam. You need to practice your skills in a real environment, and see the services features with your own eyes. 9. Manage your time. During the exam you will have enough time to carefully read every question and its options. You will have 170 minutes to respond to approximately 65 questions. That means more than two and a half minutes for each question, however some questions are more complex than others and, therefore consume more time. Don't forget to respond all questions, even if you have absolutely no idea. Make your best guess and respond. You still will have a chance to have a right answer, and there aren't any penalties if you choose the wrong option. 10. Walk before you run. 
There are no requirements to take AWS certification exams in a particular order. Meaning, you can take the AWS Certified Security Specialty exam, before obtaining any other AWS certification. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.